let's begin making our asteroids spawn in. First we need to establish a level counter and we're going to do that in the scorekeeper. So open up our object scorekeeper and in the create event we're going to come to control, set variable and underneath the extra life we'll just set a variable global dot level equal to one. And while we're here let's come to alarm zero and since alarm zero deals with winning the game we need to increment our level. So come set another variable, drag it underneath the global game over, and we will say global dot level equal to one relative. So every time we win the game, the level will go up by one. So close this, and now let's open up the object spawner. So we're going to have the spawner bring in asteroids and the higher the level the more asteroids it will bring on but we want to set an upper limit in the original asteroids game there was a maximum of 12 asteroids that would appear so we are going to make it so that every level one more asteroid is added until we meet a maximum of 12 we need to take into account that we start with four so let's come to control and test variable and we are going to test for global dot level with a value of 9 and we are going to say less than or equal to. Let's drag in some blocks. So now we'll make multiple asteroids appear based on the level but rather than dragging in a bunch of repeat create instances we'll use a special action to do the repeating. It's over here in control in the other and we're looking for repeat. Drag that into the blocks and this will repeat the action below it the specified number of times and we are going to give it the value global dot level plus three so at level one it'll spawn in four asteroids and at level nine it'll spawn in twelve so let's come to main one drag in create instance underneath it we will create asteroid large zero zero not relative because we will have the asteroid determine its own location when it is created. But if we are at a level greater than 9, we want to cap off the repeat at 12. So we'll come back to control, drag in else, and a couple blocks, and I'll just select both of these, copy, paste into here, and we'll reopen the repeat action and just set this to 12. So now we'll get a different number of asteroids if we are at a level less than or equal to 9, otherwise we'll always just get 12. So we're done with the spawner. Now we need to reopen the asteroid large because we are going to have it randomly determine its x and y position on screen. And this is going to be a little tricky because we don't just want the asteroids to appear anywhere on screen. If we did that, they might get too close to the player, or spawn on top of the player, immediately killing us, and that wouldn't be fair. So we need to create sort of a safe zone where the asteroids cannot spawn. And the easiest way to do this is just to divide the screen into sections, where we have safe zones that will put them out of the way and give the player some time to react when the game starts. So first, let's decide whether the asteroid appears on the left or the right side of the screen. Come to Control and pick our test chance, keep the sides to 2, and we are going to set variable. Variable will be x, we're going to random 150 plus 90, so somewhere between 90 and 240. But that's on 50% of the time. The other 50% we want it to appear on the right side of the screen. So select else and drag in another set variable, we'll set x to a random 150 plus 400, so somewhere between 400 and 550. Now let's set up the y's, we'll just go ahead and copy all of that and paste it, and so the stuff down below here we want to keep it a chance 1 out of 2, but we'll open this other set variable and instead of x we'll change it to y 
and we will change it to a random 90 plus 70. Close that one and select the second one. Change the x to y. We'll change it to a random 90 and make it plus 320. And so now we've created four safe zones in the corner of the room where the asteroids will appear and they will begin moving. So we're done with the asteroid. can close that. And we need to do a few more cleanup things. So let's open the object reset. And when we have lost the game, because our lives are equal to zero, we are resetting our lives to three, and resetting the score to zero. We also need to set the level back to one. So control, set variable, change variable to global dot level one not relative because we're setting it back absolutely to one we can close that and then finally we need to reopen the room and delete the asteroids in the room because we will have them spawn in on their own so let's test and here we go See what happens when I get to the next level. Okay, and we'll move on. We should have five, and there they are. Okay, and this time should be six. You can see I'm racking up an awful lot of extra lives. Okay, there are six. I'll just go ahead and lose by running into everything. last life. Game is over. They should reset everything and we should be back to four asteroids. And there we are. So that's another game done. To create the final version you'd probably want to go in and adjust those extra lives, maybe the amount of points you get when you destroy something. And if you were going to put in a title screen in the object reset here, what you'd probably want to do is instead of allowing it to automatically restart the current room you'd want to say if lives are equal to zero then down at the bottom of all this go to room title screen and then put an else above the restart current room that way it would only restart the room if you still had lives and were thus continuing the game you can see how even an old classic like asteroids can still be more complicated than you might think but hopefully we have a good enough handle on the basics now that we can start moving into some more advanced games. So I'll see you then.